I was born um, September 20th, 1917, and I've always lived here in the house. And um, I can remember, I must have been about four, I can remember my mother working out in the flower garden. I could see how much she loved doing the gardening. And then, of course, I remember my father coming home from work around five o'clock, and then we would all have our supper in the dining room, and my father afterwards would light his pipe and go out in the porch and smoke for a little while. But I remember going about age four with my family uh, to um, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, to see my Aunt Margaret. And uh, we had an, a car called a Beverly Body, and it had eyes and glass curtains that came, you could pull down. It was open, except for the curtains. And coming home, there was a terrific thunderstorm. And of course, my mother was very frightened. And of course, that sort of transmitted it to us also. She thought, surely we were going to be killed. But we managed to get home nicely, and everything was fine. But I can remember how scared we all were. My father was one of ten children of John and Mary Ellen Burke in County Waterford, Ireland. His family had once had a lot of money, but they lost it, as was typical of that day. And uh, they had to move into a very small house many miles away from the original estate. And my father realized after a while that he never could hope to regain in Ireland what the family had once had. So he made up his mind that he would emigrate. However, he said that he would not be the one to break up the family first, but if one of the other brothers or sisters emigrated, then he would gradually follow. And that's what happened. Uh, his sister, uh, Bridget, um, met a father of Francis Curran, the pastor of St. Mary's Star of the Sea Church here in Beverly, at his cousin's house in Tremor, County Waterford. And uh, they talked, and she told him that she wanted to emigrate, and he said, well, he had a spot in his rectory if she would like to come. So she was the first one to go, and after that, my father, when it was convenient, he emigrated. He ended Ellis Island on May 2nd, 1902. He never mentioned coming to Ellis Island. I always thought he came to Boston, but it turns out how I got that impression was that he came on the ship, the Saxonia, which was a Canard liner, and she went to Ellis Island and debarked passengers. Then she came on to Boston, but she did not leave any passengers off in Boston. So she went on then. So that's how we got the impression that he had entered by Boston, but that was not true. Um, we have looked up in the Ellis Island record, and he's right there, age 26. He had $10 in his pocket, and when he, got, when he landed, he put $5 in an envelope and sent it back to his mother in County Waterford, and he had $5 to start off in the new country. He came to Beverly because his sister was employed here at St. Mary's Star of the Sea Church. So um, that's how it all began. And at one time he worked for the church there. And uh, so that was an even closer connection. Like all the immigrants of that time, he, he did what he could get. So he was the maintenance man. And um, <laughs> he... Uh, he had to get up very early in the morning and go down and start the furnace, of course, going. And my brother, of course, who adored my father, he wanted very much to go with him one time. And my mother said, no, she said, you'll fall asleep. But he wanted to go, and of course my father finally relented. So he took him off one Sunday morning. Well, he said, now look here, he said, watch the temperature for me, he said because I have to go upstairs and make sure everything is in apple pie order for the six o'clock mass. So my father went upstairs, and after a while he realized that the temperature was quite hot. 
and he thought that's odd because Father Curran was not known for having it warm. So he hurried downstairs, and of course, there was John, fast asleep, and the temperature had gone way up. But the funny part of the whole story is that the women going out of church that morning said to my father, Oh, John, the church was wonderfully warm today. We really appreciate it. My mother's name was Elizabeth Flynn. She was one of six children. They all immigrated except one. His name was Roger, and he stayed home to take care of the farm and the old folks. All the rest of them emigrated. Oh, my. My Aunt Mary, she was the oldest, and she married in Ireland. And um, the family scandal is that um, um, her husband, John Tobin, wanted to emigrate with the, with the three children, and, uh, but she would hear nothing of it. So one day he went to market and he, uh, sold all his pigs, and he never went home. He took off and went to the U.S. And when he had the money, he so sent for them, and they all came. But I can imagine how she took on, you know, because <laughs> it just wasn't done, I don't think, in those days. But they were, they were very happily married, you know. And she was the oldest. And uh, then there was my, uh, my mother's sister, Ellen, and then my mother was the youngest of the three girls. And there were three brothers, Martin, John, and uh, Roger. Roger was the one that stayed home. My mother went to visit her brother Martin in Salem one Sunday night, and who was there but my father? And so uh, when he heard that she was living in Beverly, he asked at the end of the evening if he could escort her home. And she said, well, yes, that would be nice. So that is how the romance began. <laughs>